Well, guess what's arrived? I'm quite surprised. I wasn't expecting it today, and uh, here it is. I'm going to run a knife down and uh, have a bit of a look in here and see what's in it. And I've got a nice coffee coloured one. A bit hard to see there probably, so I'll have to lift it up a tad. And there you go. Okay, I've just pulled the first little bit out. It's a bit hard to see there, but it comes out in a nice big bit like that. It's already pre-assembled, obviously. So I'll... And uh, there's the second layer with the controller box, a bit of spare tape and uh, bits and pieces. So we'll have a quick look at that in a second. Okay, on with the assembly. Start playing with this little duber wacky here first. Unscrew that. Pop that through. Stick on the other side and just simply tighten up. Yeah, tightens up okay. Okay, first part assembled. Okay, I've just pulled out some uh, spare tape for the uh, glass. We've got the controller box sitting over the back here. And I've got to pull this uh, main unit out. Uh, you know, the packaging is quite, uh, quite nice. It's, uh, everything's well protected, so I'm happy with that. Well, what do you know? It's an S-series. Okay, time to open up the little box of goodies. I was just having a look at the um, the little section here which is the filament sensor and as you can see it is actually 3D printed. Yeah, one of the uh, first things I've done is actually obviously unpack it, taken off the protective cover off the uh, glass and uh, I want to make certain that it's level, isn't bowed and uh, As you can see, it is dead flat. And of course you go around and uh, check for tightness on any of the, the bolts. Make certain everything is torqued up correctly. Okay, now according to the instructions, to prevent the couplings from being damaged during transport, the two jack screws are not locked. Um, uh, as the following pictures show, which obviously over here you've got the two screws on the top, we use an M2 Allen key, and uh, we remove the thin film to put the lead screw into the bottom coupling. Use the M2 inner hexagon wrench to tighten the two jack screws. Remove the thin film. Okay, I'll have a quick look at that and see if we can get on with it. Okay, I've got to um, cut away the protective little bits of plastic that are here. Get rid of that. Same on the other side. carriage to move. Right, uh, I've got to tighten a few things up which I'll do as well. Let's uh, lay this down a bit. the couplings up I haven't done that yet so might as well position them in, into where I want them and uh, tighten them up now. Is that the one? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Let's tighten that 
tighten. Oh, by the way, I've already checked the, um, the Z axis, making certain that it's sitting nicely at the top here. Or so I thought. <laughs> Posting him up again. I just did another quick test. Tight. and we uh, will now be putting the little bolts into the ends to actually position them in place now there's four little washers which obviously we pop on before we do that Yeah, the uh, next stage is just simply tightening up the bolts underneath. There's four little bolts on the uh, Z axis. So I've got it positioned here nice and gently. I'm just sliding over to the edge. I just let it drop off a little bit there. And I'll come up underneath and position the bolts in place and tighten them up. Make certain you don't over tighten them because that's uh, not what you want. You certainly don't want to strip the threads. And I've already done the other side so that's uh, pretty easy. It's actually very rigid. I'm surprised how strong that is. It actually wobbles the whole table around but the actual frame itself doesn't move. So I'm happy with that. Okay, the uh, next section uh, requires that we install these the little end brackets and they just well this one fits on the other side but they just slot in there so I'll be popping that into the other side the one with the uh, switch on it which is a bit hard to see that one there uh, that will be slotted down into into this position in a few minutes so I'll just uh, line up the slots so everything will fit in nicely <music> certainly uh, looks like these little tiny thumb screws do fit actually in the top here so I'm guessing that that's uh, we got a spare one so this would just uh, sit on top yeah one thing I, I do like about the uh, power supply uh, all the cables are nicely labeled I don't know if you can see that that's got to turn it around focus yeah, there you go that's got an X on it so every single cable has got a little symbol on it telling you what they are and where they go so it's um, nicely nicely put together I like that so it'll make uh, the electrical side of it a bit of a breeze to put together so I'll uh, be having a go at that a little bit later too okay now I've just put the printer in here where it's going to be its permanent uh, home eventually now as you can see the bed is very very loose which is not a problem because underneath there's actually six little wheels there sitting on eccentric uh, bolts which can be quite easily adjusted to take up the slack which I'll do in a few seconds and 
now I've got clear access to the vaults on the top and you'll notice that one side has got um, uh, washers and whatever and the other one doesn't so one is eccentric the other is just a standard bolt so we'll have a bit of a play with it and uh, yeah, so basically all it is now is just grab the uh, little allen key the one that fits and adjust so that we take up the slack there now right up under here is actually um, the bolt the eccentric bit itself so you twist it so she tightens up a little bit onto the you want it so you can just basically get a bit of movement with it that's not bad and I'll tighten that up just want it so you can just get a bit of movement in it see those those wheels there are okay that one's loose so this one has to be also adjusted so we just turn the bolt underneath until she takes up a bit of slack that's feeling pretty good this one as you can see is still loose so I've got to adjust it same thing as a little the eccentric bolt on the other side just need to turn it a fraction okay that's all of them tight Now, no play. Okay, that's looking good. Now the heated bed just goes back on. Okay, I'll just pop the uh, plate back in position and or heated bed I should say and just doing up the uh, little thumb screws and uh, here we go there's a couple of cables that have to be plugged into the back of the power supply um, it won't have any problems because one's only got four little holes the other one's got uh, well quite a few extra so you won't have any issues sorting out which one goes where I'll see if I can zoom in a little bit I'm not there you go you can see the, uh, the little holes there so you won't have any problems orientating this into the back of the power supply at all yeah, make certain that uh, you have your power supply selected to your country's um, power obviously I'm in 240 volts which is set at 220 at this end so I've already got the slot in the right spot yes every uh, electrical components nicely marked all the cabling so you don't have any issues there's only one cable that isn't marked which is the one that comes in here and that goes into the filament um, sensor so you don't have any problems working out which one is which you've got the extruder fitting in the back here nicely uh, you've got down under here you've got the end stop for the x-axis you've got the x-axis uh, plugged in here for the for the motor down the bottom you've got your um, z-axis on one side you've got your end stop connected on the far side here which is a bit hard to see but it is there then you've got the X on the opposite side which I don't even know if I can get it over here no oh, it's it is there Try, take my word for it um, and then of course you've got the um, 
the uh, Y axis at the back here again you've got your you've got your end stop which is here and then you've got the actual motor connected here so it's all very very simple very straightforward um, and you don't have any problems now I haven't connected up the Bowden tube yet which I will in a few seconds okay here goes the moment of truth turn it on Yep, it's looking okay. Now, the little um, SD card that comes with the reader has all your necessary files on it. It's actually got the um, uh, strain relief for the heat bed, which I'll be printing out. It also has instructions on assembly. It's in both Chinese and English, and there's also a couple of other files that you can physically print out. You've got uh, Miko the Lucky Cat, and I think there's a, a bolt in there as well with a nut on it. So, uh, hmm, all stored on this. Oh, and most importantly, of course, uh, Cura is on there, which uh, works very nice.